Hi guys, Crafty Catsy. Um, I wanted to make this video because to say what and who I'm thankful for. Um, I saw a video the other day that Cynthia Lou Who did and it was a tribute to some women and that's going to be my first shout out to Cynthia Lou Who because you really gave me some food for thought um, about who's inspired me and and who I'm grateful for and and why and and all that and then I saw another video today by another person but first um Cynthia Lou Who um, I just want to say thank you um, for giving me that jolt and um, I, I love uh, your creativity and and how you do things you know and sometimes there's no rhyme or reason to it and and that's how I work a lot of the time um, I loved um, when you were putting all those different things um, down on your project and then putting the foil over it and it gave it all sorts of neat textures and, and looks and that really really inspires me and just watching you work you you're very creative so I just want to say thank you um, the next person is um, her name is uh, dreamer 72 fem FEM and um, I want to say thank you to you Stacy because um, I know I don't we don't know each other that well yet like uh, most of the ladies I know but um, I've been watching your videos for a while and you always make me smile you always you make me laugh um, those jingle hot that was so funny um, you make me hungry I don't like that <laughs> Um, but you just, you always make my day. And so I just want to thank you and ask you to continue doing your videos. Um, Julie, she's like my YouTube BFF. <laughs> um, ready, set, stamp. You know, Julie, you and I can go for periods of time without talking and yet when we do talk it's like we just pick up where we left off and it's like we didn't miss a beat and um, you're such a giving person um, you make beautiful cards very beautiful cards and I think part of that is because you're such a beautiful person on the inside um, you've always been so good to me and and for those of you who don't know um, most everybody knows now but um I have leukemia and I'm soon I'm hoping January going to go under a, a stem cell transplant and Julie right said stamp she went out of her way to personally be tested for me which is not really done because normally when people want to be tested to help people they just go and they they give their sample to a bank um, a stem cell bone marrow bank and it could be a match for anybody but she passed the red tape and, and got personally tested for me um, you know she's willing to give of her actual body to help me live and I'll always be grateful to you for that Julia it's, I love you. Thank you for being my friend. Um, Janet. Oh my God. Janet, you are like one of my best friends on here. Like, um, I can't wait till I meet you, girl. Janet, um, for those of you who don't know, is NanaJL54 on YouTube. Um, she is one of the most funniest, the most loving, the most giving, the most creative. She's just 
all around one of the most loving human beings I have ever met. She will go out of her way to help someone. She stands up for, for what she believes in, even when it's not popular. If one of her friends is being attacked in any way, shape, or form, she's there, and she will defend them. Uh, she's always doing for others the same as Julie. These two women are just unbelievable. Uh, Janet has uh, given me kind of like a little kick in the pants sometimes when I get down and, and I don't want to keep fighting. She'll give me that little kick and thank God she does. I love you, Janet. Um, there are so many people like that inspire me like I can't even begin to name them all but there are tons of you I'd have to sit here and go down a list you know on the scrappy side she's a wonderful woman um, very creative very giving She's there to listen if you need someone to talk to. Um, wow. Um, it's it's hard to, you know, to really... Like, there's literally at least, I would say, 50 to 75 people that I have... That I'm grateful for. Um, a gray wolf she's very talented she's you know I went to one of her youth streams it was awesome um, she's very talented she's very caring about other human beings uh, Shanzi she's very creative I love the stuff she does and she's also a very loving warm human being um, the Jack um, Epic fantasy. Um, uh, most of you don't know him. He's not into scrapbooking, but he is. Um, his name is Will, and he recreates um, stuff like swords and stuff from different movies, like Clash of the Titans and that sort of thing. He's amazing. Um, uh, Fifty-five caddy. She is such a sweetheart. She always makes me smile. Oh, let me check my time here. About two minutes left. Um, Sue seven 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 zero zero zero. Her uh, Miss Raffaella's Debbie Hayes little awesome ladies who are all very talented Gloria Jean A another amazing woman um, Rose S915 I just love her work she always inspires me um, Carlene the pink scrapper 99 she is very very creative and a very loving human being uh, quilting Connie B if you want inspiration or motivation, check out her. Quilting Connie B. She is on a journey right now, the journey of her life. And if you want to know what I'm talking about, go check her out. She is an amazing woman. Um, love you, Connie. Uh, wow. I am very, very grateful for my sister. Like, uh, she's been with me from day one during my battle with leukemia. She's been there, like, day one. She, uh, the first month that I was in the hospital, she was there every day. And I mean every day. I love you, Cindy. I couldn't have gotten through this past year without her. Um. Oh, boy. Um, I am grateful to have a roof over my head 
I don't practice. Uh, um, Canada, we've already had our Thanksgiving, but I don't celebrate Thanksgiving anyway because of cultural beliefs. Um, I won't even get into that. But anyways, I don't have to celebrate Thanksgiving to be grateful and thankful for something every day. Um, I'm grateful to have a roof over my head, food in my tummy, computer, like, you know, we have way more than a lot of human beings have. I'm grateful that I have glasses that help me to see so I can do my crafts and I can read. I'm grateful that I'm able to use my hands to do my crafts. Um, so many things. Um, yes, I have leukemia and it sucks, but I'm still living. You know, um, hopefully in January I'll have my transplant and it will improve my life a great deal and prolong it. And But right now I'm just taking it day by day and trying to make the most of it the best I can. I love all you guys. Thank you. Mwah.